In this video, I'm continuing with partial fraction decompositions of rational functions. The examples in the previous video had only multiplicity 1 linear factors in their denominators. I want to deal with some more complicated denominators and show how the process changes. The steps of the algorithm are still the same, but there are some subtleties with the different de denominators. The first example is this rational function. It is proper, degree 2 in the numerator and degree 3 in the denominator, and it is factored. The quadratic is irreducible. The discriminant is 4 minus 12 equals negative 8, which is negative, so it has no roots, and it can't be factored into two linear terms. The decomposition into partial fractions will have two pieces, one with the linear term and one with the quadratic term. As before, the numerator of the linear term must just be a constant. The numerator of the quadratic, though, can be another linear term. That will still result in a proper fraction over a quadratic. Linear is degree 1, the quadratic is degree 2. Therefore, I'm going to have an a over the first, but a bx plus c with two unknowns b and c over the second. After this starting, I go through the same process. I take the right side to common denominator, multiplying the first fraction by the quadratic and the second by the linear term. I expand the multiplications in the numerator. I group by polynomial coefficients, the x squared piece, the x piece, and the constant piece. And then I have an equation with the same denominators, so I can just look at the numerators. This is the equation of the numerators. As an equation of polynomials, I equal each of the coefficients. For the x squared coefficient, I get a plus b equals 1. For x, I get negative 2a plus b plus c equals negative 1. And for the constant, I get 4a minus c equals negative 1. This is a system of equations. And again, I've asked the computer to do the system of equations for me. The result is a is negative 1 half, b is 3 halves, and c is also negative 1 half. Well, now I have the unknowns. And this was the d decomposition I expected. So I insert the values for a, b, and c from the system to produce this result. The original rational function is now broken up into two pieces, and these are the simplest pieces I could have produced. One with a constant over a linear term, and one with a linear term over an irreducible quadratic term. Here is one more example. In this example, I want to show what happens with a higher multiplicity term. Here I have two linear terms, x minus 1 and x minus 2, but the second has multiplicity 2. When I have a higher multiplicity, what I do with the decomposition is I repeat that term, once with power 1 and once with power 2. And if the multiplicity were even higher, 3 or more, I would just keep repeating, adding terms with higher powers of the linear term. The numerators remain the same, just a constant above the linear term. From this point, once I know what the decomposition should look like with the repetition for the multiplicity 2 factor, the steps are the same as before. I go to common denominator by multiplying by the missing terms in each fraction. Notice that in the last fraction, I only need to multiply by x minus 1, since x minus 2 squared is already in the denominator. Then I expand the multiplications of the binomials and the numerators to get these eight terms. I group the terms into their polynomial coefficients, x squared, x, and constants. Then I restrict to the numerators since the denominators are the same. Here is that equation of the numerators. I compare coefficients. There is no x squared on the left, so a plus b must be equal to zero for the x term, x squared term. For the x term, 4a plus b plus c must be equal to 2 and 4a minus 2b minus c is equal to negative 3 for the constant. I again asked a computer to solve the system with these three numbers as the result. And finally, I put these back into the original form. So here is the complete result, the partial fraction decomposition of a rational function where one of the factors has a multiplicity higher than 1.